Now here's a little uh, lid motor stab motor. It's kind of a ode to lid motor. And um, he was always playing with these uh, little dollar store dancing flower devices, and they're pretty cool. You know, they just got a little solar cell on them. And uh, the circuit itself, as I'm sure he showed, it's just basically it's got a capacitor, a uh, little chip underneath some uh, epoxy or silicone. You've got your uh, high turn pancake coil. And I got the solar cell. <coughs> I also put the solar cell back there on the back. But I figured, you know, rather than modify the circuit or put two of them together like Lid Motor did, <coughs> just see if I can. Uh, keep the circuit as it is and just add a little rotor to it and um, you know I just used some number six wire it happened to fit on there pretty nice and I'm just using the, uh, the basic magnet suspension like that but you know it, it doesn't go very fast but uh, I'm going to see if I can get it to uh, rotate just off of this uh, the, the LED coming off this jewel thief I'm just going to get it up close and point it at it see if I can get some rotation out of here as you can see uh, I pretty much have no light in my room it's always dark so that LED is about the only thing that's hitting it right now so it was pretty much being driven um, off the light from that LED. As you can see, it, it goes. Um, it's not very fast. I'm pretty sure if I spent more time on it, um, I could find a way to make it go faster. Um, you know, I, I can feed it a little, feed it more light, and it will eventually speed up and go faster. Pulses get stronger. You know, if I use this torch right here, it'll get pretty bright. Likewise, I, I bet if I set it in a window, it'll sit there and go pretty good. Um, but I thought that was a neat little toy. You know, I'm, I'm glad Lid Motor uh, was going over this because he's got some really awesome little motors that you know go a lot faster than this. Uh, but I just thought it would be kind of a cool little project just to modify one of these. You know, all I, all I did was just take the circuit board out. I didn't change anything. I just added a little base with number six wire put a rotor in front of it and it's a pretty interesting circuit because uh, from what I can tell it actually doesn't pulse the capacitor unless there's a uh, a change in that inductance in that coil that's the only thing I can imagine because it's got no hall sensor it's got no read switch so I would imagine um, it only fires when it detects a change um, in that coil which would be by an, an approaching magnet or a magnet that's present um, the only reason I say that is because I tried to put another pancake coil on top of it to see if I could pulse an LED and it wouldn't pulse. It would only actually pulse with a magnet on it. So that's why this thing rotates like that. It was, it was pretty cool. Um, but yeah, it's a nice little toy, you know. You go buy one of those for the dollar, from a dollar store, get you a little rotor, and just sit it somewhere in the window and it'll uh, got constant rotation. Just a little something cooler than having the flowers um, dance back and forth in my opinion see if I can get it go a little faster turbo boost it with this strong torch over here but yeah if I set it next to a lamp I'm, I'm sure it work a lot better I just don't ever have a lot of light in my room um, but hopefully you can see that pretty cool but yeah it'll run all it'll run just off the light from a jewel thief um, just show you again that's all it is just put a little base on there um, little rotor just like lid motor likes to use it's a pretty cool little toy yeah thanks uh, lid motor for uh, showing us that <laughs> thanks for watching